Audiences fell in love with Todd Bridges as Willis on the popular TV sitcom Different Strokes in the late 70s and 80s. But when that show went off the air, Bridges' life spiraled out of control. We'll talk to him in just a moment, but first, his story. In 1978, a new kind of family entered the television landscape. Mm, mm, this is small place. After the death of their mother, two brothers from Harlem are adopted by Mr. Drummond, her wealthy boss. Let's shake hands, huh? Like uh, a brother. I've been practicing, Willis. <laughs> no wonder they can't play basketball. <laughs> Gary Coleman played chubby-cheeked Arnold, delivering the show's trademark line. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Todd Bridges played the more serious older brother, Willis. Look, Mr. Drummond, you've done a nice thing promising Mama you take care of us. But Arnold and me ain't gonna take no charity. <gasps> oh, they're here! And Dana Plato was Kimberly, their new sister. By the way, guys, stay out of my room or I'll punch you out. <laughs> At its heart, the show was about family. You're the best brother a guy ever had. So are you. But when it was canceled in 1985, the young actors began a struggle that would play out not on the set of a Park Avenue penthouse, but in headlines and courtrooms. Dana Plato was arrested in 1991 for robbing a Las Vegas video store. A year later, she was back in court after forging prescriptions for Valium. Dana Plato, a TV star at 12, died on Saturday of an overdose of prescription drugs. Plato's 1999 death was ruled a suicide. That same year, former child actor Gary Coleman pleaded no contest to assault and battery charges on Thursday. And in February of this year, Coleman was back in the headlines after pleading guilty on a domestic violence charge. He addressed the incident on the set of The Insider. Your wife? Did you abuse her? Did you lay your hand and on you her? And you know what? You can go to the same place. And the next thing Not I'm going to do tonight. is leave. So f all of you. Todd Bridges was arrested repeatedly in the 80s and 90s. Charges ranged from reckless driving to issuing a violent threat to carrying a loaded gun. In 1991, he was acquitted of the attempted murder of a drug dealer. 1993 pleaded guilty to possession of methamphetamines and a concealed weapon. I think I'm going to be able to stay out of trouble, believe me. 1997, charged with vandalism after allegedly ramming a friend's car. But today, 25 years after the end of different strokes, Bridges says he's clean and sober. Well, Todd Bridges turned his life around and has now written a new memoir, Killing Willis, from different strokes to the mean streets to the life I've always wanted. And Todd's with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I want to go to the first chapter of your book. It's called Suicide by Cop. Yeah. December 29th, 1992. You're surrounded yes. by police. You've been in rehab five times at this point. Oh, yeah. And you say... You wanted the cops to shoot. And yeah, kill you. I was kind of sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I didn't really know any way out, you know. And I was suffering from an emotional situation that I was dealing with in my life that I think no kid should have to really have to deal with. And I was so struggling at that point to where I couldn't figure out, you know, where my life was going or where I wanted it to go. And I figured that I could just end it all right there if I just picked the gun up and went after the cops and not really shot at them, but just pulled it and pointed at them so they would shoot me and kill me. And yet you say that was the moment your life turned around. That was the moment my life turned around. A voice came to me, and I believe for, my, for me it was God. And he said, just, you know, don't touch it and just get out the car and, uh, you know, your life will turn around. Just give it some time. Let's talk about how you got to that point. You say at the age of five you knew you wanted to be a star. Yes. And for you it was oh. an escape. An escape yes. from what? It was an escape from my, uh, my father at home who was abusive and an alcoholic. Um, and then it became an escape from my publicist who was abusing me. And all of this is going on when you then become a star. Yeah. Everyone's watching this cute, sweet kid grow up on television. Behind the scenes, though, uh, you were sexually active with your stepsister on yeah. the show, Dana Plato. Well, not, you can't uh, say stepsister. She was your stepsister on the yeah, show. Yeah, that would make it sound like I was like, some <laughs> sicko. No, but, but she how was did, not my real sister. <laughs> how did that all happen? Well, it, it was one time how that took place was we were, uh, and this is what I was struggling uh, at 11 or 12 years old, whether I was homosexual or not. Um, my, my publicist had molested me three or four times, mm -hmm. and I um, was kind of unsure about my sexuality. And um, then one day, uh, Dana did something to me that proved to me that, you know, that I liked women and that girls were where I wanted to be. And, um, you know, I feel like I said, I think for a, a, a young child to have to go through that. Oh, my gosh. And then, and then when I told my mom and father about it, my mom wanted to kill the guy. My father took the side of the, uh, of the molester. Wow. You know, and that really broke my heart as a wow. kid.
Wow, and your relationship with Gary Coleman eventually got to the point where you weren't even on the last episode. No, I wasn't, yeah, and that, and that got strained because of his parents. Right. And um, first two years on the show were great with, with Gary, and then when his father came down, everything changed. His father just, you know, the, the third year brought him in with a big bodyguard on the bodyguard's shoulders and was kind of like keeping everybody away from him. You know, he wasn't allowed to talk with us anymore. It was that kind of thing. He really hurt the show, and the reason why... To this very day, I believe the show got canceled. We didn't drop in the ratings. We got canceled because they were really sick and tired of dealing with Gary Coleman's people. And, wow. and that's why they canceled the show. And now your story is a positive one. A family, yes. beautiful family, and a very happy life. Yes, it is. Definitely is. All right. And, and that's I the message it. I know you want people to take away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I want them to pick the book up, Killing Willis, and really they can not only see about my journey, but see about the struggles of an alcoholic and the struggles of what a kid who maybe had been molested. Well, Todd Bridges, thank you. It's very courageous, I know, to have to write all that down oh, in yeah. order to help yourself and other people. So thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. And again, the book is Killing Willis.